I am Amos Anele, the National Head of Programs within the Faculty of Information Technology at Edomars. I would like to start by stating that according to the World Economic Forum, it has been predicted that uh, there will be significant industry uh, change. Uh, I would like to put it as industry disruption. This implies that in terms of the future of work, um, certain core skills which have been required to um, you know, solve or perform existing job duties will, will change you know, um, over the next decade. And this is actually due to technological shift um, you know, as a result of you know, artificial inter intelligence. Um, the Internet of Things, software automation, industrial automation, quantum computing. But the good news is that at Edoverse, um, the current um, existing um, portfolio which we have actually meets certain aspects of the future of work. I would like to start by stating that the curricula which we have for our higher certificate in information systems the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, uh, the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, the Bachelor of Science Honors in Information Technology are all fought industrial revolution related. And they actually meet the industry demand and the, the current market trends. Um, in addition to that, through our learning and assessment materials, we have been able, student by student, to empower our, our students, you know, with the required 4IR technical skills and industry um, knowledge in cloud computing, artificial intelligence, robotics and intelligence systems, um, data science, um, security and network engineering, um, you know, uh, big, big data analytics, and so on and so forth. That being said, as a faculty, we are continuously ensuring that our cutting edge curricula and modules are being looked into from time to time to ensure that it is well strengthened and it meets the industry needs. Considering the, the future of work, it is crucial to have both hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills refer to job-related knowledge and abilities of an employee or worker to perform or solve his or her job duties and responsibilities. Um, and on the other hand, soft skills refer to those employees' personal attributes. So in a nutshell, both the hard skills and the soft skills are very crucial if anyone is to function, you know, um, excellently in the future place of work. In addition to that, I would like to talk about the 21st century skills, which is categorized into three aspects, the learning skills, the literacy skills and the life skills. Talking about the 21st century skills, which is classified in three aspects, we have the, um, the learning skills. For the learning skills, we have um, crucial aspects like the collaboration and teamwork, um, and problem solving, communication in terms of writing and speaking, um, as well as creativity. Uh, we also have the literacy skills and in this aspect we talk about information, we talk about media and so on. And lastly, life skills, very important in terms of flexibility, um, productivity, social skills. These kind of skills are very crucial if an employee is to thrive in the future workplace. Considering the future of work, which aligns with the technological skills of the future, it is crucial for prospective students to um, opt or enroll for tech careers such as 
cloud computing, um, artificial intelligence and machine learning, data science, big data analytics, cybersecurity. When I talk about cybersecurity, it's three, threefold. We have the penetration testing, the cybersecurity analysis, and the advanced security practitioner. On top of that, we have the robotics and intelligence systems. Um, uh, just to name a few, and these are tech careers of the future. Because whether we like it or not, looking at the industry disruption, um, there's a need for reskilling and upskilling. Based on the World Economic Forum's prediction, we can confidently state that here in South Africa, there is certainly a high percentage of employees or workers who need to reskill or upskill. This is very crucial because the current core skills being used to solve any current job duties will change due to the technological shift. And based on this World Economic Forum studies, um, certain top skills were you know, outlined, such as analytical thinking and innovation, um, complex problem solving, um, creativity, originality, and initiative, um, leadership, and you know, social influence, technology um, design, and programming. Um, these are just a few in terms of how within South Africa, we have to make sure both the hard skills, the soft skills, and this is a, in fact a big challenge to the higher education institutions. We need to look into our curriculum, okay? And that is why at Edoverse, within the faculty of IT, I am super excited to mention that this has been addressed. Nonetheless, effort has still made to continuously um, strengthen our program portfolio. It is very crucial for a prospective student to enroll with us here at Edovors, um, considering our unique selling points, considering our benefits, considering the student attribute. Let's take for instance, we have just one higher certificate in information systems, but with 10 specialized streams, okay? So students could come in and opt for their career choice. And within this higher certificate, we have machine learning, we have data analytics, we have network engineering, software engineering, um, software development, and so on and so forth. And the, upon successful completion, they, they can vertically progress into the, the bachelor's um, qualification. And within the BSc IT, we have four specialized streams as well. Data science, robotics, um, um, security and network engineering, and software engineering. Now, it's not just about the curriculum. The curriculum comprises the modules. It now has to do with the quality of the learning and assessment materials. We, we, we take pride when it comes to learning content and the assessment materials. And in terms of assessment materials, we focus more on application-based, scenario-based questions, which will enable our students to you know, attempt or to solve real-life application problems, real-life business problems. In this process, um, over, over the years, they've been empowered to be set for the world of work. It is crucial to look into the aspect of our prospective students, most especially those who just completed their um, you know, national senior certificates or who just obtained their national senior certificates. So as in fact, at Edovos, what we do is to widen that access to higher education. For those who do not meet the entrance requirement, 
um, we are always certain of one fact that they could go via our higher certificate in information systems programs, which is, you know, fourth industrial revolution um, related. And within that platform, we have um, specialized streams like the cloud computing, um, network engineering, um, software development, cybersecurity, um, and so on and so forth. Now, once they are able to complete their, you know, higher certificate in information systems, they can, you know, vertically progress into the bachelor's and be, be, begin to strengthen their, you know, technical know-how in terms of knowledge and skills in whatever is their area of interest. The world has moved away from those times where we just moved you know, and enroll students into Bachelor of Science in IT. Um, this is an era where prospective students would like to know, okay, what's my attribute? Um, based on my interests, based on my um, specialization, I would like to enroll for this program. I would like to enroll for that program. Now, we are not only catering for prospective students from matric, we are also looking at those who are coming from the industry. Looking at the technological shift, there are those who would like to take on a new role. We may have someone, for instance, um, um, a, 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 a marketer, someone who studied marketing and has been a marketer. But due to the technological shift, there's a need to have certain skills like the, 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 the Python, um, the arrow programming when it comes to analyzing data sets and so on and so forth. Such may want to rescale, okay? Or such may want to, um, you know, make better his or her portfolio by upskilling. And we have those who are currently in that, um, on that platform um, as a, maybe a mobile application developer. They would like to do more. Currently, we now have what we call cross-platform uh, mobile application development. As a result, there's a need to upskill to um, you know, certain um, technologies like the Xamarin, where C Sharp is actually used to you know, achieve such um, you know, um, product. At Edoverse, um, one of the unique things we do is to ensure that from time to time, the curriculum is always being reviewed. And when, we, when it comes to the review of our programs and modules, um, we involve not only the internal stakeholders, the external stakeholders are also involved. And when I talk about the external stakeholders, I'm referring to academics from other reputable um, institutions, as well as industry experts from different, you know, IT um, related fields. And all these years, what we do is to ensure that at the end of the day, a cutting edge curriculum, which comprises of modules that meet, you know, industry needs, industry demands, you know, are being, you know, provided or offered to our students. Now, on top of that, you may have a beautiful curriculum comprising these modules. Another aspect has to do with the prescribed textbooks. What kind of textbooks are we making use of? What kind of hardware and software requirements are we making use of? One thing happened within the faculty of IT at Edoverse, which is very crucial for us. Normally, within the IT faculty, you would like to have your physical component devices or equipment. But the world is moving quite fast now. So we, 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 we actually op opted for free and open source software. For instance, Python is open source. Okay, um, we have other virtual platforms that are open source, like the Cisco Packet Tracer, um, like the GNS3. Um, you know, this this is this is where the world is actually moving to, and industries, tech companies, startups 
are looking at how they could, rather than going for the licensed, licensed um, software and all that, how could we make use of the legal, free and open source software to meet industry needs, to meet industry demands. Python is a very strong one, which is, you know, being used, you know, when it comes to data science. And that's why looking at that kind of modules that we have in our BSc IT, looking at the, B, the, the, the data science specialized stream, we have modules like scientific computing in Python. We have machine learning algorithms. Um, and in their final year, you know, something is very critical which our students do. From their first year to the second year, they are well prepped with the foundational knowledge, with that intermediate technical skills and knowledge. But in their third year, they are required to, you know, reach out to companies, get real clients, and, you know, look out for medium to large complex projects which they could work on. And over the years, looking at the ad jams, um, you know, which is being conducted, um, looking at the, the research uh, projects which is being done by our students and highly supervised by competent lecturers, they've been able to do a whole lot.